everyone have a dream. But in order to make this dream true, we need to do one thing first. We have to believe on it. In the beginning of my life, the story starts when I was a child. I was watching cartoons, and they have a, a cartoon with a, with a robot. I'm kidding myself. When will is this will be true one day? That's in that days like if somebody talk about robotics, it's like something is not gonna happen. But I keep telling myself, I will be an innovator, I will be an inventor, and I will make a robot one day. And I keep telling me this self until, and everything's in my home, I start fixing things in my home, I start building things, I start finding myself until like I learn a lot of things. So from my home, I learned a lot of things. I start building, creating, uh, fixing all my stuff in my home. One day, after graduating from high school, now the time to choose which area to go. Where, where should I, what is, what is the trend? What does I have to learn? What is my, my, what career I have to select? So I was thinking like to go to be a pilot. Then I said like, no, I don't want to be a pilot. I decided to search back to my, my old dream, which was to build, to, make a, uh, to build a robot. So I decided to see, to learn something in robotics. So I participated in the competition. And from that competition, I have to be selected to be uh, to be uh, uh, to travel to Japan to participate in world schools competition in robotics. And that competition, when we, we reached the Japan and everybody started asking, we as a team, asking everyone, what did you, uh, how long you are training for this competition, how long you are preparing for this competition. And they all start, everyone like said, one team said six months, and the other team said three months, and we are laughing. And they're asking, why you are laughing? We told them, we prepare for two weeks, and the next week, the, uh, the second week, the, the robot was broken, and we came to the competition. And everyone was like, we're coming to the competition, and we are not, we're not doing anything, because we didn't prepare very well. That's true. But in the second day of the competition, we were ranked fifth around the country, around the world. And I learned one thing from that competition, that if everybody can do something, if Japan can do a robot, so we can, we can do it. After I came back from the competition, we were ranked ninth in the world, but I have said I have to do something. After the competition, I built my first robot. My first robot called a 3G robot. This robot was designed to, that I can uh, make a video call from my phone, from anywhere, and I call that robot and start moving and through using the uh, keypad and the phone. So by this, from, uh, uh, by this invention, I have been selected as one of the top 100 Arab inventor, and I got the gold medal in GCC uh, scientific form. Then I said, what is next? What I have to do now? I built a robot, my first robot, and I get awards. So what's the next? I decided after, that, after building that robot, I decided to make, why not making a robotics club? I was searching for a community in robotics, people who can work together and they can make, we can build robotics, robots together. I couldn't find any robot club at that time. I said, why not to start my own robotics club? And that I started from my school. So people start joining and they're asking, do we need to be, have, we have to need to have skills or something? They said, no, you just participate. We're gonna learn from each other. After that, we build, the, start people that start joining the club. We participate in robotics competitions. 
when we start learning from the uh, uh, like challenges, we get challenged and start learning from it. So from this robots club, we build a team, and there is a competition called for uh, uh, for drones. We have to, where we have to build, design, build, and fly drone. And that competition, it was like a very. Uh, we learned a lot of a lot of it because none of us have experience in building a drone. So after the. So after the. After the robotics lab, I, uh, I start, built, started my own robotics company, which is uh, Robo High Tech, and that's where I convert my uh, from my hobby to be a, my my career. So that's where I I keep working robots and start building robots and designing many robots. So after that, after the competition, uh, the the, the com company, so I also participate in other competitions. <coughs> Here, I'll tell you the last story, how we start building the drones. The here, we built nine, uh, we built 10 drones, and this is the, how it's built. This is the first drone, fly for two seconds. The third drone, a second drone, fly more few seconds. And we have, we still like, we need to build a drone which is heavy, or strong, so, this is, well, was very heavy and couldn't fly. So they will decide to make it very light. And it was like dancing in the wind. <laughs> then let's say, like, we can make another drone, which is a little bit, uh, and this likes to take a picture, so it hit the person. <laughs> and we start, to learn. every time we get, we build a drone, we start learning from it. So we learn how to make a drone, how to fly, and every time we learn something and start fuel, like start flying m much better. And we fly at night, weekend, and uh, day and night. So like it was a lot of experience and we learned a lot of things. So until we reached the day, like this may be like 10th or 11th drone that we built, and we successfully flew. And the most important thing that this drones return back success. This is the first drone that we built and we we'll get it back to the to the club. So, we told we we decided the the goal was is to build a drone that could fly. And now we tell the team, okay, we we achieve our goal. Our next goal is to win the competition. And we build that drones, which is very uh, uh, like is very strong and very light. And we learned a lot of things from that competition. And we got the first. Uh, first place. So it's an, we learned from this that from this competition that we able to do, we will be able to learn and we are able to uh, build things. But the biggest award that I got from this competition is not only winning the only one prize for the competition, but we won, we won many prizes. We got a team who able to build, who were able to learn, and who were able to develop their self. In 2014, if you go back, please. In 2014, I have been selected as one first robotics expert in UAE. And, and Sheikh Mohammed told me, Mohammed, the robotics is the future. Start, keep, keep working on it. And this is what I'm telling you. If you love something, work on it because what you love is your future. Just if you work hard on it, you build your skills on it, and you can make it and you make your future. After two years, I participated in another competition for robotics and AI. And we got also the first place. Here, is nothing is impossible. Life has a lot of challenges, but we need to work hard. I'm telling you that I'm not a smart, I'm not the smartest person, but I'm trying to work hard. I work very hard. I, I may success one, but I failed tens. So 
if you keep working on your skills, you can find, you can work hard, you can achieve your goal, whatever it's called. So at the end, I would like to tell you that, I will leave you with a few questions that uh, if you could just show that for this one. This is another project that we built. One day, like I was building a, there is a project that uh, one company asked me to build a, uh, a motorbike. So they have a motorbike and they told me like, can we do something with it? We need to make it autonomous. We can make it unmanned vehicle. So I got this project and I start working on it within a click. I make a system for that uh, motorbike that way it can be controlled from a distance. I convert it to be unmanned. So on that day, I was like, we are trying how far it goes. So we send it to the middle of the desert. And, uh, and, we, we, and on the way back, uh, we find somebody, some person is tracking, is tracking it and trying following where it's like. When it reached to us, he said, I thought, I thought like, uh, there is a devil is riding it. <laughs> or a god like that. <laughs> so this is one of the things. Like, so I like, like, this is my skills, and I like working the robot, and that it's helped me a lot of, I love what I'm doing. So everybody, like, I think, if you love what you do, you can, you can be innovative, you can be creative, and you can make a lot of things. So your skills is your value. That's what is make you different. That's what make you different. Make, find your skills, develop it, and you can make it. So if, you, if, if not us, who will, who? If not now, when? If not, if not here, where? Thank you very much.